All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is January 7th, 2024. Can you believe it? How exciting is that? Um, so this was a really, really big week um, in Stampin' Up! life because to me, this is the most exciting two months of the year for, for um, Stampin' Up! because they do celebration. And if you're not familiar with Stampin' with um, Celebration, it is, they have a special catalog during the month of January and February called their Celebration Catalog. And in that catalog, every time you spend $50 or $100, you get to choose something free from this catalog. Now, it's got really, really, really cute stuff. But there's an even bigger bonus this year that I think everybody needs to know about. And I'm not sure people are going to notice this or quite understand what this means. So after you've chosen, like, so when you order, um, and if you don't have a demonstrator, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. So I would love, love, love to do that. I will help you do anything you need. Just just let me know. So just know that I would be honored to be your demonstrator if you don't have one. Um, so in this catalog, okay, so you get to choose all these wonderful things. But in the back, so normally um, what they do is they have a, um, a special stamp set that when you spend $300, you get this special stamp set. But this year they're doing something different and I think it's amazing. So when you spend $300, and anytime you spend more than five or 150 or you have a party and it's 150 or more, um, you get um, hostess rewards. So it starts at 10% and then you get 12 and then you get 14. So you get more points. You can get some half price items and things like that. But um, this year, when you spend third, uh, $300 or you have a party that's $300, so if you want some friends, you get an additional $30 worth of free product that you get to choose. How amazing is that? So I I, I just think that is totally um, worth it. Um, this is the time I spend, honestly. I will probably do that twice, honestly, maybe three times, who knows. Because what I will do is, um, in January, I'll finish ordering all the products I want. And then in February, what I will do is I will do a year's paper pumpkin subscription. And I think that's around 240 something. Um, and then add a little bit more. And then I've got my paper pumpkin subscription for the year. And I don't have to think about it coming out every month. I get all of the hostess benefits. I get to choose all the free stuff. And I get another $30 worth of free product. To me, that is completely worth it. So that is definitely a, um, a perk about this this year. Now, they, are also ha they also have a join um, bonus. And that is the glass mat that you will see on my table. Now, I am going to have a piece of grid paper on top of it because of the glare from my light. And I don't want um, that to interfere, that glare from the light. So I am gonna have a piece of paper on there, but this glass mat is amazing. It comes with a chamois, it comes with another um, another piece that I'm just gonna grab right here. It comes with this piece right here. You can put your, there's so many things you can do with this. Um, you, can, you can put your, um, stamping spots in here. You can put your stamp pad here so it doesn't slide. You can um, put your ink, like when you're doing re using reinkers, you can put the colors here and your water here. M many, many, many things. So I highly suggest it. Right now it is only available to people who become a demonstrator. Okay, it was available for a very short time for demonstrators. I was lucky enough to get in on that quick because they took it away pretty quickly. Um, hopefully, they will end up um, offering it to, to customers later, but at this point, I don't know. All right, let me flip the camera and show you what we're going to do today. And when I did it, my husband goes, huh, that's different. 
which he liked it. He thought it was beautiful, but apparently it's different for me, um, which is good because I need out of that comfort zone. So here, let's flip the camera and I'm going to show you. I'm using some things out of the new mini catalog, which I will show you in a moment, and some of the in the some stuff in the celebration. Here we go. Let me flip the camera. And there we go. Okay, let's let's move this like this. Hold on. I always have to um, make sure I'm all in the frame. Okay, so here's my thing. Now you can see if I take this off, you can see in that, see that's where my light is and I don't want that to, to bother people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on, okay? But just know this is amazing. Okay, so here is the card that we're gonna do today, okay? Uh, this uses a new embossing folder that I absolutely love. Um, and I'm, I'm going to add a little, obviously, I'm going to add in, it's dry embossed, but we're going to add some heat embossing to it as well with copper. And then this um, is part of the a new set, and I'm going to show you that. That is, all right, let me show you the embossing folder because I think this can get lost. Okay, here it is. All right, I don't know if I could, yeah. See, here it is in the catalog, but it's not attached really to a suite, I don't believe. No, it is not attached to a suite. So I think it's easy to get, to get lost and I don't want it to get lost because I love it. All right, and so that's the about that. And then here is Poetic Expressions. This is the one that I, um, uh, I used this last week and I'm going to use it again today. I love these die cuts because they nest and that's my favorite thing. But I bought this set because of this little hummingbird. My husband and I love, love, love to, we have like three different feeders around and we have our hummingbirds that come and I just, I just love these guys. So we're going to use that today. Okay. And then um, we're also going to use this set an embossing folder um, that is in, so you get both of these, the set and the embossing folder when you for free when you spend $100. So that is that, and that is very, very exciting. Um, oh, it's just got some really, really cute stuff in here. So I, I, uh, I'll end up getting all of it. I'll, I'll admit, I'll end up getting all of it. Okay, so let's start on this card right now. We're gonna start with our embossing, okay? We're gonna do that. First, and I'm gonna use um, Knight of Navy, okay? So I've got a piece of Knight of Navy. Now, I always, when I'm doing something like this, I start it a little bigger. So this is a quarter sheet. So it is five and a half by four and a quarter. I know I will cut this down, but I I just have a thing that I know I, I don't wanna screw it up. So I am gonna do that. Now, I'm gonna put it in the embossing folder and here it is. It kind of reminds me of that Magnolia one we had a couple years ago that I absolutely loved. So there's gonna, you'll see, I'm gonna do more with this, I, I promise. So here it is. All right, so I'm gonna put it in here, kind of put it where I want it. Okay, this one doesn't matter so much how straight it is. Now, when you put this into your um, uh, cut and emboss, you want the, um, I'm not showing you, you want the fold side to go in first because you don't want to you don't want to break it. So I'm gonna emboss this real, real quick. Okay. All right. Here, let me. I'll do it from here. I don't I don't know if y'all really care to see this, but we're gonna do it. All right. So there's that. Okay, and then voila! You have this gorgeous piece of embossed cardstock. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Now, we're gonna make it more stunning today. The first thing we're gonna do, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this is probably your most important step. You're going to put your embossing buddy all over. If you don't have an embossing buddy, um, get one. I, I think it's very important for this. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Versamark and I am going to very lightly brush it across, okay? I'm very lightly brushing it across because I don't want a ton on there and I don't want to get 
um, I don't want to get it down here. Now, am I going to? Yeah, I, I will. I can guarantee you I will. But that's okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. All right, so I'm going to take this now that I've got it nicely brushed. And my hope is, is that my um, uh, embossing buddy kind of saved me on some of this, okay? I can see where I got it down here. I got that. Don't worry. I got a plan. And I don't want them completely full. So, so you can see I messed that up. It's okay, because you know what? We're going to cover some of this up anyway. So again, okay. I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to go like this to the rest of it. All right. So I'm going to give a good, good little flicks. Okay. Now, I can see, I can see where there are some places, obviously, where I got on the thing. You can see that, right? That's okay. I'm going to take my little, my little paintbrush and I'm going to put my glasses on because that's, First and foremost, is you put your glasses on, okay? And I'm just gonna roll around those places and get that off, okay? Just gonna try to roll around. Now, is there gonna be a little bit on there? Yep, is that okay? It is to me, okay? It is to me. It may not be to everybody. Some people might go, oh, that's going to make me crazy. And that's okay. Everybody has their thing, and that's okay. Okay? Now, I can see that I really didn't get down here or here. I didn't get those corners all that well. So I may end up, after I've embossed the first time, I may go back and do it a second time. So we're going to see. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with this. All right. And I did get a little bit on my thing. So I'm going to, I don't want to, I don't want to waste that. All right, I'm frugal in my crafting, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to do this. This is going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get it off of that little thing right there. And then I'm going to put that in here, okay? Just because... We want to save all of the embossing powder, okay? We're frugal crafters. Okay, so let me take this. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't like that. I missed that little spot right there where there's a bunch of it in there. Now we're going to emboss. Get my heat tool and let's emboss. And I used copper. You can use gold, you can use silver, you can use white, you can use black. Um, I just, I wanted something different. I feel like I use gold and silver a lot and I feel like I don't give copper enough love. Sometimes I feel like it needs, you know, a little more love. So yeah. That's why I decided to do that. And you wanna make sure you get it all embossed. And you can just see how it pops on that navy blue. You could use black, you could use any, you know, dark color. You're gonna see me use this folder in a lot of different ways because I already have all these little ideas up in my tiny little head saying, oh, what about this? And ooh, so, all right, so there is this, okay? And I like it, but I also see some places I missed. And I see this, and I think I'm gonna want this, this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, to re, oh, let's see if I can do it, okay? Because I just didn't get this very well. And there, see, there's still some of that, but again, I'm not, um, I'm covering up part of this anyway. So I'm, kind of, I'm okay with it. It's okay. It's not perfect. If it was perfect, it would be manufactured at the Hallmark store. And that is not what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, see, look, I like how that did. Okay. 
No mess ups in stamping. There's no mess ups. Unless you're me. All right, you can always fix it. You can always make it, always make it better, always fix it. And I don't want it to be too um, heavy. I don't want to completely fill these flowers. I kind of like the little, the tips of it. Because I want to see that they're still blue in there. So, yes, I am very happy with this emboss. I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with it. Okay. So, I'm going to set that aside. I am going to have to, um, I'll trim it down in a few minutes. Don't worry. Okay. Now, I am going to do one more embossed piece. So, this, I want it embossed as well. So, I am going to, not, um, not heat embossed but embossed. So I'm going to use this embossing folder that comes that's free. I love this embossing folder, y'all. I just think it's, I think it's so pretty. Um, I, I just, I just love it. So there you go. Okay. So I have a piece of, um, pale, why can't I think of the name of it? Pale, um, oh, pedal, Petal pink. What's my brain? Yeah, petal pink. I'm using petal pink. My my brain did stop for just a moment there. Sorry. Um, and I have it cut, and I'm going to find it because I have that piece cut to the right specifications of two and a half by four, and it's missing. It has gone AWOL. So I'm going to cut another one really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, my trimmer and I know I cut it. I will find it as soon as as soon as I'm done here because I have to do something and it just totally makes you crazy. Um yeesh. okay. Well I can't find it. It's it's gone. So let me cut another one very quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one at, I want this at four by two and a quarter, and I don't know why two and a quarter was what I wanted, but two didn't seem like enough, and two and a half seemed like too much, so I went with two and a quarter. Now, when I do this, and this is one that does kind of need to be, um, it needs to be kind of straight, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I did when I did this. When I put it in here, I don't know why this one doesn't wanna open for me. It, it does open. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna turn it like this because I wanna use this as my guide. Okay, I wanna use this line as my guide. So you can't really, I took it off of here so you could see it and then I took the gray with it. So you can kind of see that line I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on that line and hope for the best. So I'm gonna do like that. Then I'll turn it over, okay. Very carefully. And then I'm going to run it through, okay. And I'm gonna hope that I get it straight. Okay. All right. So then, oh, I think it's pretty straight. Yep, I'm happy with that. There you go, that's gonna go on top of this, okay? And again, I have not trimmed this down yet, okay? I'll do that right now. I will do that right now because I want this four by, um, I want it four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna trim it down to four by, got some. Do me flodgies in there by five and a quarter. I'm gonna take that part down, okay? That's the thing, you can always, once you've, um, if you do it a little bit bigger, then you can do the places where you're like, oh, I didn't love that, so that's the one I'm gonna trim down, right? That's why, that's why I do that. That's the only reason I do that. Okay, now we've got that done. We've got that done. Now we need to do our hummingbird. Now this is the hummingbird I did. I know that this is not um, this is not necessarily what a hummingbird looks like. I know that, um, but I I wanted it these colors, so so I did it. 
I know, I'm sorry. I, I know um, I'm not necessarily um, putting it in exactly how it should be. So, all right. I mean, I know they, don't, they come in a lot of colors and I know these aren't really them, so that's okay. So I'm just gonna stamp him. Now I'm also gonna stamp him on my inside because I don't know if I didn't show you, but on the inside, I put him there too, cause you know, he's cute, okay? And I think you can do him in so many different ways. I gotta make sure I'm looking at how I want him. Let's see, I'm not gonna put him all the way on. I'm gonna do that. Just like that. So see, then I've just got just, just him a little bit in there. Now we're going to color him. And I wanted to use these colors. So I used, I'm using Knight of Navy. I'm using my blender pins, copper clay, oopsie, and petal pink. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to start, I'm just using the lighter of the Navy and I'm going to use it. I'm gonna, um, I am using this uh, this brush and I don't use this brush as much, but I kind of wanted it a little wispy and I felt like I could get a little more wispy with that on this part. Okay, oh, I went a little out of lines. It's okay, we're gonna cut them out and nobody will notice because it's a handmade card. And if they do have something to say about it, then you say, oh, well then make your own. I'm just kidding, don't say that, that'd be rude. I don't think anybody would ever say that because I know when, when you give a homemade card, people are like, oh my gosh, nobody sees the imperfections but us, right? I know we don't. I know other people, like I see every imperfection everywhere and I know I do, but um, I know other people don't, so it's okay. Okay, so I did the navy, I did the light. Now I'm gonna use the light copper clay and I'm gonna go right over it, over that navy, okay? And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit farther. Um, you know, I always used to be very, um, oh, that doesn't come in that color. That doesn't, those aren't that color. But now I'm kind of not like that anymore. Um, it's okay. Yeah, I know they don't come in this color, but I like this color. So that's what color I want. And I'm gonna use the light petal pink now to kind of do the body. This one's kind of like the flirty flamingo that it, it kind of, um, starts out really bright and you put it on you're like whoa and then it's it, it calms down so now I'm gonna take the darker one and do some blending I have not taken the class yet I know I need to that was on my list but I I'm gonna be honest over the break because I'm a I'm a teacher and I go back tomorrow um oh, shoot that's okay it's it's okay so I'm just doing some blending um I, um, um, oh, I forgot to do, I forgot to do this. Um, I did a lot of cleaning. I went through my craft room. I went through every drawer. I took everything out of the drawers, which was, um, uh, I hazard to say a nightmare, but kind of a nightmare. Um, I, just reorganized everything and it, it felt so, so good. Uh, but it took, it took a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, I didn't get as much crafting done as I wanted to. There's always, I mean, do we ever get as much crafting done as we want to? Probably not. Um, but, um, but I feel so much better. Like, and I know what I need. Like, there's things that I know that I need now. Like, I need I need um, linen thread. I'm just about out of linen thread. So, I was like, okay, that's, uh, where's my light? Do I have two darks in my hand? Yeah, it's two darks. Um, let me do the light first. Um, so, uh, I 
Okay, what was I saying? So now my order, when I do celebration, like I do my celebration order in a few days, um, I'll, I'll know what I need, you know? I know, I know I don't need dimensionals because, um, woo! I got a lot of those. I kept finding them and I kept putting them in the drawer and now the drawer is, is full. So no more dimensionals for Amy for a while, which I love dimensionals. I'm gonna go ahead and do that kind of get those blended and it blends long, the longer you go the more it'll blend but i just wanted that to be there now let's go ahead and cut him out um he has a beautiful little die cut um let me get my plates back to to the um cutting and i need new plates desperately and i have them like look how I have new ones, and I just can't seem to make myself use them. That this might be the catalyst that I needed because it, um, oh, it needs it. I was just kind of like, whoa. So, and they're warped. They're just, oh, they're old. I've used them for years, but they still work. So I'm like, well, if they still work, then why do I get new ones, right? Okay, so here, nope, nope, nope. Here is my cute little bird all cut out. And I honestly, I have another one just in case I didn't get this very straight because I always get nervous on camera. Mm, see, he's not, he's not totally straight. But this guy, let's see, this guy's a little more straight. So I'll, I, think, I think I could probably use either one, right? I'll use this guy because I like him. He's a little more centered. Okay. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Let's see. And I think I'm going to even go a little more crazy today. And instead of having it open like this, I'm going to have it open like this. So I'm going to... This is just an eight and a half by 11 cut at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, get my bone folder. And I found another bone folder while I was cleaning. That's always nice. Um, okay, so now let's put this, oh, I need to stamp. Now I've, I did already go ahead and, um, I went ahead and, and die cut these because I didn't think you really, really wanted to watch me do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it. And I am using, um, I like, I really like these fonts. So I'm, I really appreciate you. You're in my thoughts. Hello there. I've used hello there before. Um, I, I like these sentiments because, you know, sometimes I want to say something to somebody, but maybe not thank you, but that I appreciate them, you know? So I'm going to do that. It barely fits. I know it barely fits, but you know what? We're going to make it fit because I wanted to do it. We'll see how well I do this. Ah, it looks good. All right. I'm happy. I know it's tight, but I didn't want to go bigger. Like, I felt like if I went bigger. So I'm going to put this on here and get my stamp and seal plus. I use stamp and seal plus. I am a, I'm a plus girl. I don't like, and I, I don't really like the glue. You know, I don't like the glue. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna put this onto here. Okay. All right. Let me use this. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, but then album. I can see that this is a little shorter than this, and that will. Can you see that? Yep. I, I, oh, oh, that's a bummer. I'm, okay, well, you know what? Nope, nope, look, look, boom, gonna cover it. Got it, got it covered, right? We'll do it right like that. Yep, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Don't get, don't, don't stress. But this, I will say, will drive me a little bit crazy. So I am gonna take a hair off of that so that it's, not there anymore. 
see so I cut that I'm gonna do that so there that's now that's not gonna show I, I could I couldn't have that I know I didn't show it to you there it's not gonna show now it's good okay so let's see now what I'm gonna use is I've got this I've got our um, navy blue um, ribbon which I do love this ribbon so I'm gonna just use a little bit of it okay I'm gonna clip it all right and then I'm gonna put it in the middle here and then I'm gonna turn it over and I am a scotch tape kind of girl I just scotch tape it because that's I don't know, just because I do. I don't know why, I just do. All right, now I wanted to use linen thread. I didn't have any linen thread, but I did have some linen thread in an, a paper, from a paper pumpkin. <laughs> so that's what I'm using, paper, paper pumpkin linen thread, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I just doubled it. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it through, maybe. So I'm gonna put it through, and I'm and I kind of like have been going like this, so it's not so curly, you know, because it it does it does curl. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it in a knot, and I'm gonna be as awkward as possible, because well, you know, let's let's just say that's it's what I do, right? All right, now I'm gonna tie my bow and hope that I did enough. I did. So I'll pull this a little tighter and I'll pull this a little bit and then I'll go like that and then I'll clip it off. Okay, so then I've got my cute little bow there. All right. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now let's put this on because let's be honest that's driving us crazy when i say us i mean me but i'm sure it's driving you crazy too right i can't be the only one that that's driving crazy okay Ta -da. Ta -da. and then i'll take these off you do know to use these ends right got to use those ends because they're they're dimensionals too all right I really appreciate you and I want this to go mostly on this because obviously this is navy and it's gonna um, it, it's going to um, fade in but I didn't want it to be all the way down okay now I've got my little hummingbird and I want him sipping this flower. That's, you know, I kind of wanted a flower there. So let's put some more dimensionals on him. Okay. And then I'm gonna use that corner piece right there. All right. One, two, three. Y'all, I find these things all over my house. I don't know how they get all over the house, but I do find them. So I'm gonna put him like he's sipping from a flower. I just thought that was cute, right? Oh, hold on. Let's see, there. Yeah, I love that. All right, so now I've got my card base, okay? And I'm gonna put it right on here. Did I? Got that. Yeah, okay. So when I do this, and I'm going to use my Stamp and Seal Plus, when I do this, I'm not gonna go fast because if I go fast, especially on this embossed, it'll start to, to tear on there and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go slow when I do that. I have found that that is the secret. Oh, that's this, okay. All right, I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go all the way across here, all the way across here and then in the middle there, okay? I just find when I do it really fast, that's when it um, uh, lifts up, okay? So I've got that. Now I'm gonna put this little guy, I'm gonna open this like this and put him in here. Yep, there's a little piece right there, but that's okay, I'm gonna cover it up. So I'm not gonna worry about it, right? 
All right. And just so you know, alcohol markers go through. We're gonna put this like this. And then we have, I really appreciate you. Okay, I am happy with this card. Again, this is a little bit different for me, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't think I use, I use navy a lot, but I don't always use this. So here is my card. I hope you really like these cards. I think they are just stunning. Um, and I love the copper. And I will say, so here is the gold. And this was, I did not use an embossing buddy. So look. That is without and with. Look at the difference of the embossing buddy. Okay, so really, really need that. This one I did, which I loved. This one is just taking the white craft um, pad and lightly going over. Okay, so you really have to lightly go over that. Um, so that's what I did on that one. And will I use this? Yes because then what you can actually do, okay, so this is just a little bonus. So I, what if you don't want one? What if you want it to be Melon Mambo? What if you wanted a color? Okay, then what you can do is you can take this and kind of go like that over the white and get a color on there. How cool, again, I'm really lightly going over and you have to go at different angles to get all of it, all right? I, I did find that. But look how cool that is. Do you think I need to make a card with that? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, so that is just a little bit of another bonus, okay? And it kind of has a little shine, but that is, that is, um, that's a little extra. Now, if you ever have any questions, please, please reach out to me. I am always here for you. I'm gonna put these here because I like them the best. Um, I'm always here for you. So I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week. Um, it is going to get cold this weekend in Tex uh, this next weekend in Texas. So that's gonna be very exciting. And um, I do love cold weather. Um, so um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get some cold weather and I'm gonna be happy. Maybe, I don't know. Now, I, the older I get, the colder I get, the more weight I lose, the more, the colder I get. So we'll see how I really like that. All right, have a fabulous, beautiful week and do something creative and make sure you send your cards. Bye guys.